Squad Builder Showdown on Prime Rude Hullet. And this one isn't from Icon Swaps. This cost me 2.7 million coins. Jack, what have we got ourselves in for, mate? I've had a disgusting week, the discards, mate. So uh, I would be very appreciative if you can go easy on me. Just let you win. Is that what you want? Please, mate. Please. Well, I said the same to Bateson, and he just swept in and ruined my club. So, absolutely <laughs> not. No, that's not how that works around here, unfortunately, Jack. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Team of the season is around the corner as well. Can I just add that? So, we could make a gentleman's agreement here, you know? <laughs> no, no, no. The people will kill me if we did. But, yeah, I haven't released any content. No. And team of the season is in a few days. I've currently got an absolutely whopping 59,000 coins. 59,013 to be to be precise. As there's no special cards to do a video on, we've decided to once again risk decimation of the club. I've already spent a disgusting amount of real life money and FIFA points on the captain's promo to get some coins back after Bateson ruined me. And it seems like we're going to have to do it again for team of the season. <laughs> it's going to be even worse if we discard this as well because I'll literally be starting from the bottom. <laughs> not good, not good. I hope you guys are all well. I hope you're still enjoying the videos. I hope you're excited for team of the season like I am. We are also kicking the channels into the next gear as well, which is going to be very, very exciting. I've tried my best to organise some IRL filming with the one and only Bald Gerbil himself, Mr. FG. Team of the season is coming. The Clips channel, I've said this about three times now, Jack. AJ Free Clips is coming back. However, this time, if Harry doesn't actually upload them, he's getting sacked. <laughs> Come on, Hazza. Come on. No, to be fair to Harry, he has actually made them live. He has actually uploaded them. And I need to go and do... Nah, to be fair to Harry, he put one up four days ago, whilst I was at the wedding. He's actually uploaded loads of them, and we just need to stagger the release of them. And I was away, and he just thought, do you know what? Screw a thumbnail. It's just going to be Andy's face. And do you know what? The video's done right. So go check out AJ Free Clips. And what we're going to be doing, Jack, which is actually exciting, is I was thinking, and I want some feedback from you guys. And maybe I'll just put some up and see what, how it goes. Squad Builder Showdown Shorts. Now, I've got two four trains for this. One of them is actual YouTube shorts, where they're only like a minute long. And if you've missed Squabble the Showdowns, you can go and just watch one dead fast. And it'll like pop up and it might be highlights of old Squabble the Showdowns. It might be a minute of an entire video and stuff like that. Pop them on my main channel and people will never always be up to date with the jokes without always watching a 45 minute video, basically. The other idea is Clips Channel, five minute cut down versions of Squabble the Showdown, three to five minutes where you might hear from one of your mates. Oh, the Dean Atale Squabble the Showdown was hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> very funny. I wonder why. And rather than sitting and listening to me, Bates, me and Bateson talk about God knows what, for 45 minutes, you can watch three minutes of, here's the picks, here's the gameplay, here's Andy crying. <laughs> do you know what would be sick as well? You know how on like on. on like Sky Sports they do like in the vault or like retro clips of like old stuff that's happened in football? There's some, yeah. been some mental Squad Builder Showdown episodes that could be put into a bite-sized episode on okay, shorts. Okay, so you, oh, I see where you're you know going. What I mean? So you want like Team of the Year Kante. It's like retro Squabble the Showdown. It's like five minutes of the Kante episode. Exactly. Or five minutes of when Bateson discarded Prime Moments Ronaldinho and stuff like that. Exactly. The double Aubameyang discard. Yeah, <laughs> well, it was one and a half mil. I mean, you both yeah. discarded them on a draw. That was funny. Yeah, good times. Do you know what I mean? And then you get the whole episode as well. And it's like, you know, it's like a nice little bite size version. I like it, Jack. I like it. So there's a link to AJ Free Clips down in the description. If we do start doing retro Squabbler Showdowns, they will be over there to keep it separate from my main channel. But shorts versions of more recent Squabbler Showdowns and things like that will be on my main channel. So keep your eyes peeled for them. Let me know what you think. Anyway, Jack, the chit chat is over. Mm -hmm. We are doing Prime Moments Cantonar on Jack's channel. If you want to go check out another Squabbler Showdown immediately left of this one. We're doing Prime Hullet here because... He's an icon swaps, Jack, and I think I don't think it's any great secret that I am not often a man who plays a lot of FIFA, at least beyond the first few months, and then they patch it and I get annoyed and stop playing for champs. I'm in that boat as well, mate. However, I do still enjoy playing FIFA with my mates to make videos and messing about and stuff like that. And they're trying to sucker me back in, Jack. I'm gonna be honest with you. Have you seen what you can get from icon swaps? One of them, which is why we're doing this video, is Prime Hullet. I think that could be it. Is that a first for a player of his? I know that like in the summer in previous years, there's been some outrageous cards, but I feel like I suppose the curve is a lot steeper this steeper, year. And everyone's, yeah, yeah all, so Ronaldo's kind of to, 70k. This Hullet to buy, as we've said, is 2.7 million. You can get like Prime Eusebio is 1.8 mil. I'm sorry, You what? know, Winter Wildcard Neymar is 1.2 million coins. 
It's mental. So in FIFA 20, Prime Eusebio finished, finished the game 5.4 mil. The cheapest he ever got was 4.7. Yeah. He's 1.8 mil before team of the season in FIFA 22. So they've, they've gone in with them, basically. You can get Hullis. You can get this, a 93 plus attacker or mid icon. Mo this is a lot of words. Essentially, prime moments icon. It's a player pick and it's guaranteed to be a 93 plus attacker or midfielder. And you get to pick. Pretty mental, to be honest. I kind of want to play squad battles, Jack. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. I'm not really sure what they've done to me. I don't know how they've managed this. Have you seen the weather, mate? The sun is shining, to be fair. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. The golf courses are... <laughs> <laughs> Things nobody ever say. <laughs> so I can get a player pick between Gary Lineker, Rude Van Nistelrooy, <laughs> or Raquel Meng. There we go. That'd be one, wouldn't it? Yeah, perhaps your tokens would be more wisely spent on a prime hullet if you actually grind yes. div rivals and foot champs and stuff like that. He is crazy. He is the man who created the All-80 Club. Indeed. The Hullock Club. The yeah. Hullock Gang. It's just a bit mad, isn't he? Like, I've played against them when Bateson's used them and stuff like that. It is mm -hmm. kind of cheating. Yeah. It's a bit stupid. He's Not a bit only is he absolutely ridiculous, he's also icon powers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Different breed of their own, I think. It is mad. Yeah. I also... We are getting a little bit waffly. I didn't know. Like, obviously, Hullet is, like, one of the best players on this game every single year. He's always in all of the professionals' teams and stuff like that. I didn't realise just... Because I knew Hullet played for Chelsea. Mm -hmm. But this was, like, at the end of his career, wasn't it? And I seen him a little bit because I was, like, uh, old enough to kind of remember the football then, I guess. I didn't realise he won the Ballon d'Or. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to... I don't think I would have been able to say, oh, yes, he's he won the Ballon d'Or if someone asked me a question. But now you say it, it does kind of, like, ring a bell. I mean, it makes sense why it he's 93 sense, rated yeah. on FIFA now, doesn't yeah. it? Because yeah. I thought, in the classic FIFA YouTuber, not knowing enough about football thing, he's really good on FIFA, so then he's mm -hmm. obviously high rated. That's what my brain, yeah. how my brain made sense of that. But obviously he's really good because he's high rated, and he's high rated because he won the bloody Ballon d'Or, Jack. Mm -hmm. I didn't realise. I mean, they've done a good job at uh, recreating a card on FIFA that obviously has his i mean for about five years now he's been probably the top five one of the top five players isn't he on the game i think it would be a little bit outrageous to say he's one of the top five footballers ever no yes but feet because of how fifa works he is definitely up there on yeah. fifa and he did win the ballon d'or as i've said 14 i sound like michael owen now don't i shall we just move on <laughs> let's do it mate i can't believe you haven't mentioned how alan only completed two passes in the merseyside derby there was a merseyside derby <laughs> was there not Oh, I thought it was just Manny, like, having fights with our players while the ref had a laugh. <laughs> he should have been sent off. So, <laughs> he had about three different yellow cards. And two reds. And Rich uh, Richarlison, Richarlison should have been sent off as well. It's so bad. Like, Anthony Gordon should have had a pen, but also dives, so he didn't get the pen. But that's pretty, yeah, that's, yeah, exactly that. Your reputation precedes His reputation you. precedes him, yeah. Exactly. That's the problem with that. Mm-hmm. I, was, I replied this to an Everton football account on Twitter. They shared Anthony Gordon posted on Instagram about how he was like, he goes down too easy. And it was, the videos yeah. were actually like getting pushed by Trent and uh, Matip stood on his foot and stuff like that. Yeah. And everyone's like, oh, he goes down too easy. Which he did actually get pushed over and he did actually get stood on. But the ref knows that he does go down too easy because he does like, you can say he doesn't as much as he wants, but he does just dive all the time. Yeah. I mean, Lampard did also say that you don't get penalties like that at Anfield, but there's been quite a few that Everton have had at Anfield in recent times. So I think he's it's one of them, isn't it? in a hot, heated interview. And then I, yeah, and then I said like, oh, he does actually go down too easy. And yeah. Everton fans were replying to me like, but it was a pen. And he said, yeah, but it was a pen. But VAR's awful. Yeah. And the refs are awful. You need to be clever and make it so you do get decisions. Yeah. Like, yeah, you can say, yes, I dived before that this was actually a penalty, which is correct. But... The v VAR is terrible, and so are the refs. So yeah. just don't dive, and then you might actually get the pen. Even though you should get it anyway, and the diving should be punished separately, but is completely irrelevant to the fact that it was a penalty. The fact that he does dive obviously affects the ref because the ref's human, not a robot. If he did, if Gordon, I, I actually really rate Gordon. I think he's one of your best players. He's very good. He just needs to stop diving. But the, even when I, uh, Trent took him out and he got a yellow card on the counter attack, he could have easily avoided that. I think. I think he could have jumped over it and then. Liverpool would have been in a world of trouble because he's quick, quicker than Matip, who I think was covering if Trent didn't uh, get it. I just think, yeah, if he stayed on his feet a bit more, I think it'd be... He's, he's too happy to go down and try and yeah. get a pen instead of just staying on his feet and trying but to But it score. was that kind of game, though, wasn't it? I mean, Richarlison was doing it. It's kind of difficult to be out of that habit when half the team is doing it. Salah gets a lot of stick for it as well. 
And yeah. I'll be honest with you, I didn't watch much of The Maze of Ted, I'll be honest, I was at a wedding. I did it on my phone, being incredibly antisocial, but I wasn't really <laughs> watching it. Seller's like one of the most, fa not actually in terms of getting fouls, but he gets the absolute crap kicked out of him every game. Mm -hmm. He stays on his feet a lot. Yeah. Like, considering how small he is, he's built like a brick. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to think of another word. You know what I mean. It's like running into a concrete wall, isn't it? When you're running into Salah. And he does stay on his feet loads and does actually... Like, it's like really hard to make him go down. Yeah. He's he definitely changed his course. game, though. He would definitely... At the start yeah, he used to dive all the time. Was... That's what Gordon needs to do. He needs to yeah. start try trying to stay on his feet. Because mm -hmm. then when he does go down, it's obviously a foul. Yeah. It doesn't take that long to change a reputation either, I don't think. No. And even being properly cynical. Like, if he did always try to stay on his feet and then once every few games went over really easily, the mm -hmm. ref would probably believe that he was trying to stay on his feet anyway, even yeah. if he dived. Yeah. So if Got you're being like proper choose. cynical about it, like dive once every few games and the ref might believe you. Whereas if you dive four times a game, when you do get fouled, they're not going to believe you. Anyway, Jack, we've talked a lot. I think this, this, could, be a new, I think this could actually be a new record because it says 17 minutes we've been recording. <laughs> Sometimes I do feel bad, and I think, should I just get Harry to cut it out? And he did go ahead and cut it out the other video, the other yeah. day, which is very funny. And other times, he just got loads of football things to talk about, mm -hmm. such as the Maze Sad Derby. Yeah, we're getting relegated. <laughs> Jack, <laughs> what formation would you like, mate? Harry's, do you know what's even worse? Harry's a Liverpool fan, isn't he? Obviously, because he's yeah. from Bristol. So he's sat there, just like you. You're from Brighton, so obviously a Liverpool fan. Yeah, but yeah He's yeah. sat there loving this as I cry about the fact that I haven't lost which mm -hmm. I'm to be honest with you Jack I'm pretty numb to it at this point like if we got yeah. relegated it'd be nice to actually watch us win some games <laughs> oh no comment no comment um mate I Unless would like Sunderland <laughs> I would like the 4-1-2-1-2 second variation please would you actually oh my god I was classic squabble shit on spiel I was gonna write that down and then I remembered a comment that was like top comment last time we did the video. And it basically called me stupid for not writing down 4333. And it's like, why would anyone do a video with Jack and not guess 4333? Because that's all you ever pick in any video ever. So write it down, you pick 4122. Cheers, comment section. Cheers, comment section. <laughs> I love 4231. Ah, uh, okay. I put down 4312 because that's the only formation you use in any video actually ever. But not today. Not today. We also actually, oh god, here we go. Now we tried a new thing where if you guess the formation instead of trying the, instead of changing the formation or getting an extra trump card, mm -hmm. you could have two guesses. Okay. At a position, so James wrote down two right centre backs and a left centre back. So he guessed three centre backs for me essentially in gotcha. the last video. Nice. That video hasn't gone live yet at the point of recording, so I'm not sure what the feedback was, but it sounds cool though. Like you get to keep your guess basically if you guess it right. It's like you put yeah. one in the bank. Sounds a bit dodgy, but you know what I mean. No, that makes sense. Like, you've <laughs> taken the formation guess and banked yeah. it for later. Yeah, exactly. It's like being on Weakest Link or something. Yeah. yeah. Bank! Oh, I've got so many things I want to talk about. <laughs> Have you seen the video of Celebrity Weakest Link where literally none of them get anything right and one guy just keeps shouting bank and they haven't even got any money? <laughs> <laughs> no. They'll be like, what's the nearest planet to the sun? And they'll be like, the moon! And then the next person goes, bank! <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's move on, Jack. Let's do it, mate. I would like to say moving swiftly onwards, but that would be a lie. Timestamp gang, welcome to the start of the video. <laughs> Jack, players, mate, who do you want? Who are you pairing up with, Hollett? Who's going to save your 2.7 mil? Well, I'm hoping these can. Um, I'm actually going for two centre forwards, mate. I'm going to go for a little duo of Kent and Hadji. Kent and Hadji? Yes. I've got his 88 showdown card, Kent. And I've got Future Stars Hadji. I have checked. They are... You've got Future Stars Hadji? I do, mate. Fair enough. Kent is actually happen? mad as well. Yeah, that Kent is crazy. Yeah. I was annoying. I was flicking through, of course. This is basically our complete club value. So I was flicking through Footbin, seeing basically what untradeable cards I could write down. Didn't get down to the 88s, unfortunately. I wrote Vegost for his showdown because I thought he might be funny. Yeah, nice. And then I put Cristiano Ronaldo because we were talking off camera beforehand about how he's like 70k. So I thought might go for him. Fair enough, you can Very have them nice, both, mate. mate. All right. I respect the fact that you've got that Hadji. Fair play. What I had, Jack, is a road to the final Timo Werner unsold at the end of my trade pile. Oh. Which I then sold for 300k. Nice. Which means, at striker, I'm gonna go for Gareth Bale. Very nice. 
So I've been wanting to try this card for a while. I don't think I've used it yet. Fingers crossed he gets upgraded again. Actually, the result, City. the first leg will be out, yeah. First leg will be out, won't they? Whilst, uh, is it tonight? Yes, it is indeed, mate. That is jazzy. It's massive game. You just think you've got more chance of beating Real than you have of beating City. I uh, know. Personally, I would like to get revenge against Madrid. I would like okay. to play them in the final over City. I think we'd have. A I can't of a believe they managed to pull it back against Chelsea. Yeah, which it was is insane. Outrageous. Real Madrid, yeah, are one of them teams at the moment where. Yes, they've got a fantastic team, but they've got, not got like an incredible team in comparison to like, say, City or Liverpool. But they have something about them. They've got that ability to win. They just get it done. Yeah, they just get it. Somehow just they do it. Out. I think a lot the of it's probably... The ridiculous pass you've ever seen. Probably quite a lot of experience, I think. Yeah, it's crazy. I'll have this Fekir because untradeable, you know, get him in the team. Bit bait. You might have written him down, but we'll go from anyway. And then I'm going to go Jao Felix. Now, I am aware that his Adidas one is now 99 pace, but I've just spent all my coins on Gareth Bale. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go and do his player of the month with my fodder. He's like 25k as well. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it's the same rating as the one that last year was unbelievable for like three, four months of the year. Um, but I suppose the curve's different, isn't it? Well, we'll you go can, with him. You can have them all, mate. I put down basically um, some Dutch players uh, alongside Royce as well because I put down Royce because I didn't want to put down Marlon. Uh, I don't know why I didn't want to put down Marlon. I just thought I'd mix it up. But I put down Veghorst, Royce, and Depay. Fair. That's why okay. I didn't put down Marlon because that would have been two strikers. So that's why I put down Royce. That would have been strongly. cheating. That would have been cheating. That's what that is, mate. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Oh, okay. I see what you did. So you wrote Vegost, but then you wrote Royce in case I went Marlon. Indeed. I get you. Yeah. Smart. Well, that's what we'll tell them anyway, Jack, even though you <laughs> forgot about that. <laughs> wink, wink. Should we move on to the midfield? Indeed, mate. Let's do it. Into the midfield we go then. Let's make this short and sweet. And yes, as Jack asked me, he said, are you aware? And before someone in the comment section, you can't play John Felix at, at Centre of Nagamid. He's a Yes, you can. We've covered this before. He's a perfectly viable guess for Cam because of his Adidas cards and his normal cards. So shut up, comment section and Jack. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Left CDM, Jack. I am going to go for, I really want to say Kante because I've got flashback Kante. I mean, you can just buy normal Kante for about 12k. But I'm going to say Coquelin. And then... Left CDM. I'm going to go for a man who I'm not particularly fond of in real life at the moment. I think petulant is probably the best word for him. However, he's quite good on FIFA and he has a sneaky pick because he's got a centre mid card so can play CDM. I'm going to go Bruno Fernandes. <sighs> I put down Depaul and yes, you name it, Kante. Uh, mainly because they're two SBC cards and you don't have a lot of coins. I did look I did at not. Portuguese centre mids. However, the only one that I thought you'd go for was that Mateus Nunez or whatever. But then I realised he's an objective and he is. you don't play FIFA. So that's not going <laughs> to work. And there's Renato Sanchez, who when I was searching through them on Footbin, I seen, they put the, if you search Portuguese centre mids, it like lists all of the cards and it puts the prices above them. And I seen 79. I was like, ooh. I could discard so oh I've got 98k. I could <laughs> buy him and then discard some informs for the rest of the players. No, I missed the zero. He's somehow still 790k. Mm. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, he is very good. I mean, he is so basically Hollis, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I would have been having two Hollis in my team, but I can't afford that, unfortunately. No. Nope. Could just about afford him for Bruno Fernandez. Well, fair play, mate. Fair play. You can have them both, obviously. Um now. My team, I think I'll get away with this card purely for the fact that a RTTF uh, Oxley Chamberlain has just come out. So I'm going to go for that Showdown Jones, who I'm yet to use. He's now 90 rated. Nice. And then left centre attacking, well, left centre mid, I'm actually going to go for a attacking midfielder. And that is going to be Pellegrini. And I did see this Tenali card has had a... Pretty decent upgrade, or he's going to be going to a, a 92, but he's a 91 at the moment. And in fact, he's absolutely outrageous, to be honest. He is fully immersed in the Hullet Club. In fact, all my midfielders are. Oh, no, Jones is one. Jones is 79. Short. Yeah. That's unfortunate, mate. <laughs> but I'm hoping I can have them all. How can you afford these, Jack? Because they're SBCs, my friend. Or actually, Pellegrini, I did get in a pack. Very, very annoying. 
I put on Yeka and indeedy because it's in the right to write down. Remember that? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's a shame, Jack, that one of your players isn't in the Hullet Club. Let me fix that for you, mate. Get him the hell out of your team, Curtis Jones. What? So you didn't put down Ox? Nope. For flip's sake. I was doing a little bit of searching on Fuppin. The problem with goalies is speed, essentially. Finding a goalie with 80 speed is very difficult. Like Donnarumma's 98, 97, 90, 90, 92, 63. Now... <sighs> The fastest goalie on the game. In fact, the only goalkeeper in the Holly Club is Jorge Campos. And he's actually ridiculously good outfield. And weirdly enough, Hugo Lloris does... Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, I'm getting confused by the stats on football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He also doesn't have enough speed. He's got 72. He's close. And he's only got 70 kicking as well. So he's absolutely mud. Mendy, 38 speed. Basically, what I'm saying, Jack, is I can't really do that, unfortunately, because that would be against the spirit of the game, giving you a Mexican hero <laughs> at left centre mid. So, what I will do instead is find you someone as far from the Huller Club as humanly possible. Okay. Can they be English and in the Prem? They can. Lovely. Thank you. How about a bit of McGill? McGill. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 19. What position is he? He's a goalie. Lovely. McGill. Oh, from uh, Brighton. He is from Brighton, mate. Just like you. So he probably supports Liverpool as well. <laughs> I have, I have. you know, I'm not actually from Brighton. I might live You're here. not from Brighton? I'm not from Brighton, no. Where are you from? Hove? No. Uh, Croydon way. Croydon? Yeah. But I, I mean, I was very young. Very young. I lived there very briefly. Fair. But yeah, your Liverpool bias was too easy there, mate. Far too easy. Gutted. Thing is, the only reason I went for Jones is because I thought Ox was bait. In fact, I have double bluffed you. Yeah, I'm not happy. Good times. <sighs> well, the, the other three have enough stats to make up for that guy. That so is true. It's fine. They could probably lend McGill stats and still <laughs> have could. all over 80s. <laughs> like, Tonali can chuck him 10 from his pace. Huller can chuck him 6 and Pellegrini can chuck him 7. <laughs> yeah. It would be close. I reckon that would be close, actually. Mm. If you gave all the spare stats from them to McGill, can they still be Hully Club? I can't be bothered to do the maths. Let's move on to the fullbacks. <laughs> fullbacks it is then, Jack. Who are you thinking? I don't know who I'm thinking, mate, to be honest. Um, I've rattled you with the Curtis Jones pick, haven't I? You really have. You really have. I think we should maybe start with a left back. I don't know. Everything seems bait. My literally, as soon as I get someone guessed in Squibber the Showdown, my head it's goes. Gone. Yeah, it's it's in the mud. So, I hate this so. Much. <laughs> um, oh, it's so rattled. This is great. The two mil safe. <laughs> it's closer. To, it's free actually now. <sighs> I'm going safe, man. I'm going Perisic. Oh, fair. I'm going safe. I need a left back, man. I mean, you probably guessed him, and you just. Bluff, bluff me up here again, but you know. Um, now, Fredericks and Trent, I, I have them in the club. I've got rule breakers Trent as well, and foot birthday Fredericks. Fredericks seems bait, seriously bait. And I feel like he's maybe more likely to have been picked because he's an SBC. I'm gonna go for Trent. Okay, you can have them both. Oh, yes. Who did you put down? Is what I'd say if I didn't have Trent and Perisic written on my whiteboard, Jack. That's absolute lies. <laughs> There's no way you've done that. Oh, what a day. What a day. Excuse me? What a day. <laughs> oh. Just do a cheeky little FaceTime call to you there, Jack. Hello. Bye, is what I want to say. <laughs> I don't believe this. This is actually <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, you could have easily just written them down, to be fair, but... What a day. They're going to be bronzes, aren't they? What a day. Oh, well, look, you're safe, my mate. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, my club. It's all going well, Jack. It's all going well. Left back. You need a Serie A one, don't you? Yes. There's only one bronze on, which is really annoying in the Serie A. He's got a bit of pace as well. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a silver, Jack. Oh, okay. You can have 
the 68 rated Ma Chizza because he's got 60 pace. Okay. Slap a shadow on him. Decent. And then right back, instead of Trent, you can have I'm Alex. I'm Alex. I'm Alex. That is, of course, Kyle John from Evan. Yeah, I was hovering over it. <laughs> okay, fine. I don't know how this what has happened, day? if you ask me. Well, at this point, I was going to go and pick a Portuguese right back. Maybe a bit of Cancelo, maybe Manafa. And then either try and bait you into writing Pepe or actually pick Pepe. Because I did do the Pepe SBC. Mm -hmm. However, Jack, you haven't got a right centre mid and you haven't got any fullbacks. Yeah. And do you know what you have got? 2.7 million coins on the line. Thanks, mate. Appreciate that So I one. think I might just play it a bit more safe, you know, and just actually get some players. I'm not going to go Seamus Coleman because that's probably written on your whiteboard. Just to rub it in, I'll have Trent. You are a tear, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> go on, Enu. Do you want a left back as well, mate? Go on. I mean, I would pick Perisic if he fitted in my squad. I'll be honest with you. But he does not. Dinier's bait. So I'm not going to go for that either because that's written on your whiteboard too. I'll have Mendy, Jack. You're just an ultimate, ultimate, ultimate scumbag, aren't you? <laughs> can I have them both? If it was my way, mate, no. You wouldn't be able to have them both. But yes, you can have them under the Who rules of Squad Builder Showdown. Was it Coleman and Dinier? Coleman and Carver Howe, my friend. Oh, Carver Howe? Yeah, he's got a left back card now. Has he? Yeah. Sneaky, that. I forgot, though. You don't play so FIFA, he so you wouldn't know. Yeah, just picked Mendy instead, didn't I? <laughs> Sweaty. <laughs> This Trent looks just... good though, doesn't he? Yeah. He... Which one should I go for? Which one were you going to go for? Um, Just his 87, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah, was yeah. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I was going to go for the rule breakers. What is a say? I'm enjoying myself, Jack. I'm going to be honest with you. Can you ask me that question once we've finished the game? I mean, it wasn't really a question, to be honest with you. I'm just telling you. I'm quite enjoying uh, myself. A statement but... of fact. Okay. It's just, just a fact, yeah. Just that I'm having a good time, you know? Guessing all have your players. I... Have Everton been relegated yet? Come on. Not yet, no. Hey, listen, I've resigned myself to being relegated months ago, mate. You can't you can't whip that one to bring my mood down. If we do stay up, it's just a bonus at this point. I've already resigned myself to the fact that we're going down. Which I suggest you probably should do with your hullet. Make I sure have you're just, uh, I've just slapped a shadow on John. <laughs> desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> and I'm slapping a shadow on Marquisa as well. I swear down, if oh, this if this hullet goes, it's game over for me. It really is. You've got one last chance to try and turn the tables. Let's get into the final section. Right then, Jack. First or second, mate? I'll give you the choice. I'll go first, mate. Ooh, okay. God, I don't like this at all. I do not like this at all. We are going to go for Luis Felipe, Ibanez and Alisson. Fair enough. I wrote, so I was looking at your Tonali and thinking you could do something funny, but you'd need another strong link. So I put Chiellini and I put Kalalulu or Kalulu. And I was thinking, hmm, what if Jack put Kalulu and then Canate? Who would that put in goal, Jack? I think it'd be Allison, wouldn't it? I swear, if you've got Allison, I will literally launch this monitor into my garden. But I decided to just write a Serie A one and put Sirigu. <sighs> Oh, okay. Okay. I will take it. I mean, I don't have a defence, but, you know. Luis Felipe in Abania is a good, though. Alisson's not. I mean, Pick hopefully uh, Alisson can adopt some of Pickford's tactics like he did at the end of the game. Speaking of Pickford, in he goes. <laughs> right. Left centre-back. This is where it's tricky, because not only do I not have coins, I also need... I don't have any players either. I've got 49k. So I'll have John Stones... As much as I would like this fantasy foot upgrade on. Can't afford that. So we'll have his Champions League man of the match. And then he needs another strong link, Jack. I think I might somehow be able to scrape the coins for signature signings, Ruben Dish. So I'll go for him. Oh, that's so bait, though. I did dangle the fruit of the Pepe, didn't I? That is so bait. But it doesn't actually work. I don't think it's physically possible to get Pepe onto full chemistry in his team. So I think, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. I'll go with Stones, Diaz, Pickford. Well, seeing as you've been absolutely hilarious this episode, I thought you might try something funny. That's why I put down Saliba and Mandanda. And I put down Gomez as well. Woo! Well done, mate. Full team. Hope you're happy with yourself. I'm actually pretty chuffed, to be honest with you, mate, because I was breaking it coming in. 
2.7 mil on the line, you know? Yeah, 2.7 million coins on the line. It's basically <laughs> eight players in my team. It's always a good time to be alive, isn't it? Oh, we do love Squabble the Showdown. Should we get into a game? Uh, reluctantly, mate, but let's do it. <laughs> I would say good luck, Jack. But I'll be honest, I would be lying because I don't want to lose 2.7 million coins. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Trent Alexander-Arnold really well. actually like, defending. Why did he feel like a donkey then? Whoever player that was. Ooh. Everyone feels like a donkey to me. I, play, I feel like I'm playing in slow motion. Oh, my God. That was some sort of job. Oh, Easy for Pickford, mate. Oh, oh my god, my I thought that god. I got him. That is icon powers almost. Well then, Louise. Okay, Rude's at the back. Oh, he's getting marked by your Hullet. Ruben Diaz isn't though. Oh, oh thank save. god for Allison. Prime Allison. <laughs> John Stones instead. No! Oh, oh my god, this is when I went in. How are you winning every header, man? No! Oh Just god. get it out! You idiot. Kente! No! Oh my god! Surely the keeper was scrambling. Pick for that it covered, mate, don't worry. Quick, one last chance. No, Hollis wouldn't snap kick the him. Ball. Oh, he's done well. <laughs> snap him. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a cagey first half, Jack. I will, I will take that. Um, but this, we all know, second half is where Bronze really, really, really come into play. Yeah. And I have been Play using the them quite a bit. Oh, oh you're kidding luck. me. Oh, it's decent. I it's mean, it's terrible decent. defending for me afterwards. So I can't really complain. The little Berbers worked fairly nicely. That's worked very nice. That's very bad defending from me. I mean, your the pass initially, though, was... Uh... Was just a tackle from me. But <laughs> I should have just run over and tackled her again. That was terrible defending. God, However, yeah, Kyle John is getting tired. ruined now. Oh, oh my, my God. God, you're joking me. Mate, John is battered. Good Mate, this Alison, I dissed them so much. Oh, when I used them, he couldn't save... Bloody weird document. Please follow. Please follow. Ah! I read it, but it just wasn't enough. <sighs> Finish. I mean, anywhere tight. else. <laughs> Anyone oh, else? That's fantastic. Going in. Wow. It's a great finish. Icon great powers, finish. mate. Yeah. Oh man. No way. Oh, oh my disgusting. god! No, 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 no. What no. a goal! <laughs> that is outrageous. Oh my god, Gareth Bale. Look, fair play. That is ridiculous. That's no way! Stunt, I just mate. turned that in Scott Bullish and half a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> Gareth, take a bow, son. Go on, John. Go on, lad. Go on! Go on! Yes, Ken! Oh, he's so good. He's he so good. These so bear good. spins are ridiculous. I know. It's the it's the uh, the turn of pace, though, isn't it? It's the turn of pace. They're usually not that great, but wow, fair play. I don't know where Gareth Bale's going. Oh, you've got the final chance. Go on! Go on! No! Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I forgot there's no extra time, is there? Nope. <laughs> Do you know what? You actually played really well. Yeah. Do you know what? I've stopped using, uh, is it L2 or R L2 or R2 defending? I can't remember what it is. It helps a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Expected goals were slightly in my favour. He did have a few yeah. blocks off the line, but my Pickford made some good saves as well. Mm -hmm. Alisson was very good as well. It's got to be said. He was outrageous. Alisson did play insane. But it's very, very close. Considering yeah. your stinky, stinky defence. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, John, like, they, John actually played very well. 
At the start of the second half, he was very slow on his feet. I will say that. He was very slow. And he got so. stuck in. Yeah. So, um... Oh, God. This is not good. This is not the fun time now. This is not what we like to see. Oh, my okay. God. Oh, Jack, 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 Jack. This can't happen again. <laughs> Are you hitting me first, or am I hitting you? Oh my god. What? How have I lost? Not lost. How am I going to discard, Jack? <laughs> You've got Marquez and Kyle, John and bloody McGill. Oh. Do you want me to go first or second? Hit me. Go on. Goalie. <laughs> Big John! <laughs> yes, Johnny boy. I don't know, I feel quite, feel quite sad actually leaving. He's got me a nice result. Um, right. I'll go the other end of the pitch, mate. Striker. Bruno Fernandes. Oh. The icons have survived. Gareth Bale scored the filthiest goal I think I've ever scored that in was, the showdown. Mate, that was like studs. Pure studs. Insane. <sighs> that was the highlight of my game. However, that was scary. Ooh, okay, we'll be back when we put these players in an SBC. Right, there we go then. Kyle John is even worth putting into an SBC. And there goes... Bruno Fernandes. That was terrifying. I'm still nervous. I still can't speak properly. Team of the season is out this Friday, Jack. So the next couple of showdown is going to be on a team of the season player, apart from the one yes. on your channel. This is very exciting. If you want one more before then, Jack's channel, Prime Moments Cantona. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think about the shorts and go and check out the clips channel. We'll put more clips on there and five minute rundowns of Squabbler Showdowns past and present. So it's going to be good fun. I hope you guys are going to enjoy all the content. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.